Welcome back, everyone. This is Dr. Tracy K. for your Friday Pick a Card Day. And what did we draw today for you? We drew the Anchor card. As you can see, it also shows a pretty cool anchor on the beach. And what a great thing to put in for the summer. And also, we have the Nine of Spades there, 35. Let's talk about what this means for you today. And don't forget, if you haven't seen all the flashy little things around my card today, please subscribe. And there's my kitty cat bell to ring. So you can always be informed of any upcoming types of videos that are uh, on this channel. And please comment in below if you would like some more stuff and if you have any questions. So the anchor card meeting is um, we have a situation where, okay, in the regular card meeting, when it comes to spades and anchoring, we are reaching our goals, stability, persistence, long-lasting, faithfulness, settling down. Those are some of the key words that are being brought up. The anchor card is about safely and becoming more and remaining steadfast. It's about being tied securely to a place or to a goal that you are thinking about. So when you looked at this card, when you brought this video up and this card came up for you for the Pick a Card Day, it is a positive card, don't worry. This is showing that everything is gonna be okay, that you can weather any storm, and it brings a sense of stability into your reading. It's a harboring, reaching that harbor, just like the sailors, when they anchored that in place, they reached that harbor, they reached their destination. You have arrived at your destination and you can obtain your goals. Yes, indeedy. Now, anchor indicates in so forth so if you come to your thought and you were thinking about this and it came up so in love the anchor means in love that it indicates a committed a relationship it shows setting settling down maybe faithfulness stability it can be a point of feelings tying down but generally in a positive way it's it's a positive car for love and it's a positive card for relationships. Now, if you're thinking about your career, and this card came up, anchor, this means that you're, there is job stability, permanent position, something successful that's coming or is in your business adventures, or a long-term, lifelong career. It is basically in terms that you know, if you've been manifesting something or uh, you're representing something, it's a harbor, you're docking on that beach, so to speak. You are in that position associated with that boating of that position that you're wanting in your career. And let's just talk about another area for our anchor. Anchor, if you're thinking about your health. If you're thinking about your health, well, that represents um, anchor, if you look at it, the way it's shaped, the sailor, whatever, you know, like I have a pen that's an anchor. Love that pen. Um, I haven't thought about that pen in a while. Hey, I should wear that today. But anyways, uh, it's, it's, it's about your pelvic area. You know, your pelvic area, how it's shaped like an anchor. That means your hips. So your hips, it's your pelvic bone area. So that indicates a condition. It's, uh, it's either long-term, stable, depending on your surrounding card, whatever. But this card means that if you're thinking about your health right now and you look at this video and, you, and this card pulls up, talking about your anchor, because that's your anchor, that's your uh, part of your solar plexus and your root chakras. So uh, 
You want to anchor that? That's your anchor. It anchors you to the root cause of something. It's your hip bone. It's your pelvic area. So um, this is about stabilizing that area. I would highly suggest it's stretching that area. Do some good uh, frog poses in your yoga poses that'll help stretch that area. Focus on your root and solar plexus chakras. Um, that's to be anchored, grounded. So when it comes to this, you know, it's a, it refers to anything that is being needs to be stabilized or anchored or grounded. So um, I love this. This is great. I'm sure a lot of people don't realize about how to anchor things right now. Friday, pick a card day is a great meeting for anchoring and you're reaching your goals to be stabilized. Working on that manifestation of anchoring into your steadfast um, stability in your life. You might feel grounded today. This is a good card because if you it'll show up that you're very grounded, you're very stable, you're anchored into your goals, anchored into your career. It's steadfast. Uh, your stability in your love life, if it's anchored, you're wanting to commit, you're wanting to settle down, you want faithfulness, you want stability. This is a positive thing. This is a positive card. Nothing, nothing negative coming out of this. So um, what a great card to have come up. And I just want to let you know that these are, if you love and enjoy these pick a card days for Friday, please don't forget to like, smash that like button, put that thumbs up, and also subscribe. Ring that bell. See my kitty cat ring bell? I love that. And uh, so you can get more and reminders of these pick a card days. If you like something else, please leave a comment below. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, we have some awesome things that are coming up. We, If you're really wanting to learn more about these types of things, I offer courses in this training where you can learn more about chakra training. A great course that is called CAST, which is the Chakra Awakening Training System Certification Course. It's an amazing program. I highly suggest it. If you just kind of want to get a glimpse of it, see if you like it before you enroll, you can go on my website at workingitoutseries.com and click on free mini courses and check out some of the courses there and also and learn more about how the shock, how you could be trained as a you know a practitioner. And so you can help yourself or your clients in your practice. This is for everybody. This is for personal trainers. This is for doctors, for yoga thinkers. This is for life coaches. This is for um, psychics, gem goddess, whatever you want. Crystal healers, everybody, everybody. I mean, everybody. This is even great for people that are in career oriented ways it's that you can learn to heal. So for a massage therapist, this is a great certification course of the chakra training it's called past and there's other courses you can take to many things and so i'm so glad that it was a positive card for you today that's anchored it was a good grounding day and it is uh, an amazing type of uh thing we're dealing with today because we are also dealing with a friday and Fridays are good days for lighting pink candles. It's about wonderful commitment in regards to uh, love, anchoring, commitment, stability, and devotion. A pink candle is a wonderful harmony, bonding type of thing where you can meditate on a pink candle. It can help with depression. It promotes self-love. And I also have a pink candle meditation. It's off my website also. You can check out in the fun stuff. And I would say today hold a rose quartz or a pink tourmaline or my, my gemstone because I am an August birthday Virgo paradox.
peridot. These are wonderful stones. They will wear them, simplify and harness your, their energy. Sip on some hibiscus tea. If you like tea, to enhance a relationship with yourself and others. It's an aphrodisiac type of flower, so it's closely related to love and sex. It has been used to make love potions, believe it or not, and charms used in and also holistic medicine. So, but uh, it's a it's a very beautiful tea. It's very tasteful. I like it a lot. It's a, it's a uh, it's a good tea. I'm not a tea person. A lot, you know, I was for a long time, and then. I got the military, I started liking coffee, coffee. I love Italian type of coffee, you know, the espresso. But I do go to my teas. Teas help me, certain teas I use. So that's tea for today is I would definitely uh, recommend hibiscus tea. And for this evening, our lunar, when our night comes and you've all settled down from your week, it is, um, we are dealing with a, a waxing crescent type of moon uh we were i think we're in virgo before i think we're in a, a water type i think i'm picking it up yes yeah, water water it's a more i think it's a scorpio so our moon is in scorpio tonight and so you're waxing in scorpio and again that uh that scorpio with that pink that rose quartz is perfect for that because when you're dealing with a waxing type of crescent moon in a water sign, I would say you want to focus more on, like, perfect. No wonder the anchor came up because that's about your career. That's about jobs. That's about um, uh, money. Money. That's about money, jobs, stability, anchoring yourself. That's, wow, that's just, well, you got your water in there, so... Um, I would, I mean, I think there's rain coming in. There's some rain coming in. I sense that there's been around a lot of water. So, hi, I, I would definitely use the moon energy. Make yourself some, uh, a bowl of, of moon water, maybe. I don't know. I did, that's an idea. Purify your water. And um, I would definitely say that this is a time to be anchored, anchoring yourself, anchoring yourself in prosperity, anchoring yourself in peace and happiness, bringing love and health, and you're going to walk in prosperity, you're going to walk in good, stable, committed, faithful, positive relationships, and good-natured people coming into your life. I walk in harmony with you. I walk in harmony. Our life is always getting better and better and better. I hope this is some good stuff for you. Thanks for coming today to listen to the Pick a Card Day. Have a wonderful day. And uh, please come and check out some of my other stuff like the TracyKBeauty.com. If you want some wonderful types of crystals or beauty or now natural type of stones that you want to use or if you want some beautiful healthy vegan type cruelty free skincare or makeup right now i am wearing my ravish red tracy k beauty um lip liquid lip stuff so check that out thank you so much for coming today have a wonderful weekend